Sterling Moon. And the first series of this game features an outstanding de defensive display by the Redskins. Big Dave Butts from his left tackle position just blew right over the top of Schumacher and showing amazing quickness for that 310-pound frame. He just got outside. Schumacher could not contain him, and he took Moon to the ground. That's a, that's a fine trolling line of scrimmage. Butts Wolfert. Dave Butts was in the backfield and on Wolfick's jersey before Wolfick had a chance to take the second step. Butts shot through there. Butts showing some real quickness. Now, you'll remember that Butts held out, missed a number of ball games, came in late. Watch him on the left side of your screen. Again, that's Schumacher trying to get a hold of him, but he just blew through there, and you get an idea of how strong Dave Butts is. Got one handful of jersey and jerks a 210-pound back right back to the ground with it. He draws first blood against the Colts. First down. Wolfert. Losing is Neil Okowitz, Curtis Jordan, Charles Mann, all in on the stop of minus two. Dave Butts again, tremendous penetration. Boy, he is just chewing them up in there. The Houston Oilers, very proud of their offensive line, but they're getting chewed up on the line of scrimmage right now by the, the uh, Redskin Rushman. Draw play. Read well by that Redskin defense, and you can bet Dave Butts. Yep, there he is, 65 Butts to spoil the Oiler plan. A big Dave Butts and number 77, Daryl Grant, are like a, an interior wall, and they have just blocked it up. Redskin shutting down that running attack. I don't. I think the. The Oilers are probably negative yardage rushing so far in this ballgame. Well, they've had three possessions and only one first down, and that came on the throw by Warren Moon. Johnson's third punt of the quarter with one minute, 18 seconds remaining first quarter. Redskins and Hog Heaven, that's not a section at uh, RFK. That's a slab of seats. <laughs> it's first down for Washington. to Wolfert. It appeared that Butch had a pretty good shot at catching that one, even though it was a little behind him, but could not come up with it. And guess who was right on top of Warren Moon again? Number 65, Dave Butts. The Oilers called him Kondo in watching the films. Number 65, Dave Butts is just going to power through from the inside. Look at him, just running over people. Schumacher trying to get a hold of him. Romano trying to help. Moriarty trying to help. And Butts buries Moon. Well, you might as well put a blue uniform on him. He's been in the backfield as much as the Euler runners. Johnson to kick again. He put aside is the idea of putting Steinkohler back in the game. Steinkohler getting over a knee injury. He's been held out because they don't want to lose him. He's more important in the long run, and I think this is a real test of a coach. Hugh Campbell knows that Steinkohler has a better chance if they don't rush him back into the lineup. I think for an inexperienced coach, the choice would be easy. You put the guy in. You say, Steinkohler, you're bigger and stronger than, than uh, Schumacher. You go in there and stop Dave Butts. But if you get him hurt in the process, then you've lost the battle. Dave Butts, on the other hand, having a great game and, and possibly can continue to, to, to dominate, although having held out he's not quite in the shape that he would be if he'd been in training camp and conditioning could be a little bit of a problem we'll keep an eye on him it doesn't appear that he was slowing down believe me as he was blowing over the top of people all through that first half really 45 huh? <laughs> don't you like that <laughs> little silver in the beard yeah, uh, yeah, like well, happy birthday well, from all of us. thank you Dick. let's go to the second half at the 44 yard line Rogier, just a couple War number 30 in high school and at Nebraska and in the USFL, but a bigger man has that one for the Oilers, Larry Moriarty, so he's carrying 33. That's Rozier in motion. Moon finds the man open, Jim Smith. 
He beats the rookie Cherry, the fifth defensive back, and it's 17 more yards for the Oilers and a first down. It was Dave Butts again getting penetration on Moon, but Moon saw that Butts could not have his balance, was losing his balance, skirted to the outside, able to find Tim Smith and get it up. Here's a chance for you to see that. Number 65, Butts coming in, gets around Schumacher, but watch him right here. He loses his footing. Gives Moon a chance to roll to the out. So a lot of folks. It is not a safety, but it is Washington's ball at the one yard. Too many people on the field. They got one of them off. And yeah, there it is. And there it is. The end of the game. The final seconds tick away. Uh, outstanding game defensively on both sides. And the medal of this young Oiler team measured by the fact that they had Washington in trouble throughout the second half, but could not beat the veteran Redskins and Joe Gibbs. Tony Zendejas had a chance twice to tie it. He and uh, kicker Jeff Hayes, that wasn't mostly to come over to say tough luck. Final score, Washington 16, Houston 13. Merlin Olson, Dick Enberg, so long from Washington, the Redskins win by three.